Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this interesting algebra problem. And on the first side, this equation is easy one. I saw this equation in one university exam and I ask myself why this equation is in this exam. Because on the first side, we'll have two square equal to two square and the answer will be obvious. So two, four equal to four, the answer x equal to two. But then I, I draw a graph. So if you draw a graph, for example, x square will have parabola and if we draw the second graph 2 to the power x we will have exponential function and we will have this this situation so as you can see right here we have one point of intersection so right here we'll have first root and it's not hard to see that this point will be equal to 2 so the value of this point is equal to 2 because we right now prove that 2 square equal to 2 square, which is which is correct. And if we think more, we will see that right here we'll have one more point, and it's not hard to see, maybe a little bit complicated than with these two, but right here we'll have the second point, we'll have 4. And because 4 square equal to 2 to the 4th power, and this is correct, so this is our first two root. But then I thought that right here we'll have one more point of intersection, right here. This will be our x, x, third and how can solve it this is not obvious one because if we find a negative root and put plug in right here we cannot we cannot solve it and then i then i remember about the lambda w function because right here we need it take a look what will how can we simplify this let's try to find this third root first two second four and let's find this third root so but first what we're we going to do let's take for example natural log not log but natural log how can I do this? Take a look. If we take a natural log from x square equal to natural log 2 to the x. And we need to know that these two jumps right here in the beginning and these two jump right here in the beginning as well. So we will have really interesting situation. We will have the 2 times natural log but absolute value of x because we don't know about this x. It can be negative, it can be sometimes can be positive equal to x natural log natural log 2 and right now i suggest you to divide both sides by by x so let's divide both sides by by x we will have if we divide by x we'll have 2 times natural log absolute value of x dividing by x and equal to natural log 2 and as well we can divide these uh, by 2 we will have our final situation we will have that natural log absolute value of x dividing by x equal to natural log 2 dividing by by 2 so we just simplify this this a little bit but i told before about lambda w function this is multivalued function where w is any complex number and e to the power w is the exponential function so this function looks like that we'll have for example w function and equal to w e to the power w so this is w lambda w function but i want to show you in in simple words so how this function looks like if we apply lambda w function of this expression x e to the power x it will be equal to x so this is all about lambda w function i'll, I'll try to show you in simple words so forget this one is this one if we applied lambda w function from this expression we will have that this will be equal to our x and moreover, I want to rewrite this expression in another way. So I want to write this as x to the power minus 1. x to the power minus 1. I bring this x in our denominator. And it will be equal to times natural log absolute value of x equal to 1 half natural log 2. As you can see, this is the same as this one. So this is the same. But I write this x in our nominator with the x to the minus 1 and this is constant 1 half before this natural log 2 so this is so this is the same but i want to show you how can we solve this interesting interesting equation so take a look right here we have absolute value so we will have two cases the first case with the plus sign and of course the second case with the minus sign so first case x is greater than zero and the second case x is less than zero so let's try to solve it let's follow 
so at first with x is positive positive what we'll have i write this right here we'll have our first case our first case if x is positive we will have x to the power minus one times natural log x and equal to one half natural log natural log two so and right now let's try to simplify this using this lambert w function so we need to create this situation so this and this will be the same and we need e if we need v, e we can rewrite this x to the power minus one as e to the power natural log x to the minus one power so let's write this this at as at first as natural log x so we rewrite this and x to the minus one power we can rewrite as e to the power natural log x to the power minus one right here we'll have one and minus one so nothing nothing change so what are we going to do next of course equal to one half natural log natural log two and take a look we can put this minus right here because this is a power so we will have natural log x and times e to the power minus natural log x equal to one half natural log natural log two and take a look we have natural log x and natural log x in our power and right here we'll have the same situation if we apply lambert w function from this we need to have this and this the same and we need e right now we have this and this the same but we have minus right here and if we multiply both side by minus we will have the lambert w function a really good case to apply lambert w function we will have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus one half and times natural log natural log two so i just multiply it by by minus one and take a look we'll have the same situation this and this are the same and we can apply lambert w function so let's do this let's apply it we'll have lambert w function of this expression minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x and equal to lambert w function and of course we can rewrite this because take a look what we will have if we bring this one half right here we can rewrite it as square root of two so let's do this we will have lambert w function of minus natural log square root of of two and right now as you can see we can simplify this using this this logic so if you apply this lambert w function we will have only this only this expression so let's do this we'll have only minus natural log x equal to lambert w function of minus natural log square root of two and if you multiply it by minus one so multiplying it by minus one we'll have really interesting case we'll have that natural log x equal to minus lambert w function of minus natural log square root of two and how can we solve it of course if we take right base of e right here in the both side we will have that our x so you write e right here and e right here if you write e we will have that this we can cancel and write only our x we will have x equal to e to the power minus lambert w function of this of this constant minus natural log square root of two and of course final answer x equal to one dividing by e to the power lambert w function with this minus natural log square root of two so this is our our x but we don't have any any answer with two and four and moreover we don't find x3 this is not good number but this e can apply a lot of a lot of values so i i write behind me about this this answer and i saw that in internet i saw that this expression give us that x x first equal to two and x second equal to four so positive roots positive roots so in this explanation when x is greater than zero x is positive as well so this explanation give us these roots two and four but where hide the third root of course we need to solve 
the next case when x is less than zero and i wanted to write for you real quick the final answer wh why what is difficult with the second case because with the second case it will be the same but we'll have really interesting case so this x when x is positive we will have this this answer so x1 and and two and when x is negative we will have the same but we'll have minus before this and right here we'll have x3 equal to we will have minus e to the power minus lambda w function of natural log square root of 2 so the same but minus right here if you if you want it of course you can you can prove and you can go with this with these steps we ha will have minus right here and we'll will have minus as well in the end so the, the difference is plus right here minus right here and i saw the third root within this lambert w function because if we are talking about decimal approximation our x third will be equal to or approximately equal approximately equal to minus 0 0.766 and 6. So this will be our third root if x is negative. Of course you can do the same explanation but I don't have enough space and moreover this is not necessary because we'll have only minus. This will be the same logic as right here. We'll have only minus and our x third equal to minus 0 0.7666. And this is my approach to this interesting problem. On the first side this problem is easy one because as you can see x square equal to 2 to the power x we'll have 2 square and equal to 2 square so nothing hard and moreover if we think more we will find the next root so 4 square 16 2 to the fourth power 16 and what about the third root a lot of students make make mistake because they don't think about the third root they think that one obvious as well for for every student we'll have we'll have 2 square equal to 2 square moreover 4 square equal to 2 square 2 to the fourth power this is good for for a lot of students but what about the third one we find as, as you can see this is not natural number we will find this these roots within this logic so i hope you understand this explanation if you do write your suggestion in comment write your question in comment thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos